earlier in the day today we had announced uh, we had sort of released the claims handbook and really the first thing i want to do is contrast the awards we are going to give now and the handbook we are going to release now with the claims handbook that that morning document was focused on the claims performance there were six metrics uh, completely numerical based pulled out of the public disclosures totally fact based with no interpretation but the issue with uh, you know obviously that represents claims but there are many many aspects that were not captured in that handbook uh, the most important being what do brokers think and what is their view on matters that are important to them uh, you know uh, pertaining to the insurers so there are many aspects uh, that are important for brokers uh, of course claims is one uh, getting good quality terms and conditions is the other but then there are also transactional items like getting paid on time having rfqs turned around quickly uh, making sure the renewal business happens uh, in a uh, ethical manner and so on and so the reason the ibi conceived of this particular survey this is the second year of the survey was to capture some of this data and really share it back with the insurers uh, so they get a feedback of how the broking community what is their perception on on items that are important to them uh, a few minutes i'll spend on this particular page um, the results are completely survey based uh, that's the first point there are 126 members uh, who um, answered 10 questions and i'll share those questions with you in a bit these are all the principal officers uh, and senior representatives who are dealing and transacting with the insurance companies uh, constantly we've used the concept of a of the net promoter score and i heard uh, earlier discussion on the nps the nps is a very standard way of uh, measuring performance and the reason we have done it is because it allows us to track how things change over the years essentially what we do in this score is we uh, on a 10 point scale we take the number of uh, people who have got 9 and 10 uh, those are the advocators or promoters and we take the number of people who scored six or less and we do promoters less detractors and that's called sort of the net promoter score uh, obviously if your positive is great uh, if you're negative it means there are more detractors than uh, promoters and it's a standard way uh, across uh, of doing the survey what i'd like to suggest is that although we are not publishing it in this handbook if any of the insurers would like to see how they have transitioned over last year and this year because the questions are the same we're very happy to share that uh, separately. Uh, we have excluded life insurers from the survey, and I hope we can correct that based on the discussion in the previous panel once more business gets placed through uh, life insurers. Also, new companies less than a year old we have left out because there isn't enough experience the broking community has as yet to do a high quality rating. And what that means is that the number of insurers considered here is 31. Uh, so some insurers uh, have, have dropped out. These are the uh, questions and I'll just make a couple of very quick points uh, there are 10 questions but you'll see that the way they are arranged there are about 44 of the 10 questions which is 40 percent in a sense are focused on broker orientation uh, and these are questions like an overall recommendation do reward payments happen on time uh, is the non poaching of renewal clients timely accurate brokerage etc 30 percent weightage which is three questions is given to the claims part of the business and we've split out health from other claims in the way we ask the questions because both of them have different characteristics and dynamics. Um, and then of course, there, there's, for a, from a broker's perspective, placement of the policy is very important. That generally doesn't get captured. So we have a 20%, two questions on that. How quickly are RFQs turned around? Um, is the pricing and coverages, are the prices and coverages competitive? And we've a last question on technology because technology is important from a customer standpoint, of course. But it's also important as brokers how we work with uh, with uh, the insurers. Um, the, the results which you'll get will uh, the book which you have has detailed results of all insurers, and I think what you will find startling is that uh, it's not a closed contest. Um, the the variation across insurers is significant. So just on the first question, which is an overall uh, uh, you know sort of score by a sur a survey, you will find that. At the highest end, you have an NPS, which is 52 uh, promoters minus detractors. And at the lower end, you have minus 21. So it's a, it's a very, very widespread. And I think, uh, uh, you know, people who have done well, fantastic. People who are negative, uh, it, it's time to sort of think through why the negative scores were there. Um, on, uh, you know, the other thing which uh, we looked at, and you can see that in the book, is 
how many insurers are positive and how many are negative. So on the second question, which is rewards, out of the 31, um, 31 insurers, there were only 13 who are positive and the rest were negative. So as you go through the data, do look for the richness of the data. And as I mentioned earlier, if any insurer would like to look at uh, the um, uh, trans transition over the previous year and this year, we are very happy to share that separately so you get a sense of where you are. Um, I will uh, stop at this stage and hand over to uh, the compare to sort of gi give the awards. I just want to make a point that after we, uh, after we sort of did the survey, we uh, had four categories qu uh, based on quartiles, first, first second, third, fourth quartile, uh, each being 25% of the insurers. And the awards that are being given out today are being given out to the first quartile uh, insurers who were the first 25% of the 31 insurers who were, uh, who were scored by the broking community. With that, I'll hand over to you. So the awards that we win, they tell us that we are on the right track. And if we don't win, they tell us that we need to do something more. We need to add a little more value, a little more effort to get there. Awards are those targets that tell us whether we are on the right track or we need to add a little more effort. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to be beginning with the release of the findings from the IBI Broker Friendly Insurer Survey Awards, the most broker friendly insurers. And I request Sri Randeep Singh Jagpal, Chief General Manager, Intermediaries, IRDAI, to please join me on the stage. He will be presenting all the awards on behalf of Sri Sujoy Banerjee, member IRDAI. The first winner that I'll be announcing, and let's hear a round of applause for each and every winner who's joining us on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I request IFCO Tokyo representative to please join us on the stage. Many congratulations, IFCO Tokyo General Insurance Team. Congratulations, and the next winner is Bharti Aksa. I request Mr. Sanjay Keria to also please join us on the stage for the award ceremony. Congratulations, Bharti Aksa. And the next winner in the insurer, uh, the, the insurer survey and the awards to the broker friendly insurers is Go Digit. Congratulations, go digit. And as we move forward, uh, they are getting uh, friendlier and friendlier to the insurers. Ladies and gentlemen, the next winner is Future Generali team. And we have a representative, please. And let the applause keep coming. These are the winners. As I said, we are getting a little more friendlier. So the next one is HDFC Ergo. Congratulations, uh, Team HDFC Ergo. Now the top four are remaining. The next winner is Bajaj Allianz. Congratulations, Bajaj Allianz. And the next winner is ICICL Lombard.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the IBAI Most Broker Friendly Awards and the top two winners are going to be announced. The next winner is New India Assurance. Please, sir, join us on the stage. <laughs> sir, we request you to please say a few words on this occasion. Good to be the second most friendly. And uh, next year, of course, we'll hit the first spot. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And uh, now comes the top spot for the most broker-friendly company. Tata AIG, let's hear a huge round of applause for the top spot. Congratulations, Tata AIG, with you always. Thank you everybody, very overwhelming, very honored, very privileged to uh, get this very, very special award and uh, puts great onus on us. The only one word, you know, which I would say, I think, which came in the discussion is, uh, it's taken us a very long time, I think 19 years, you know, to build this trust. And that is, you know, the foundation on which this entire relationship and this entire industry is laying on. So we will do everything to live up to your trust and expectations. Thank you. Well said. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sirs, for presenting the awards.